Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey today. As we take a walk on the Pismo Beach Pier. Pismo Beach is located between San Francisco and Los Angeles, about 177 miles from Los Angeles. We will take Highway 101, with our destination being the Pismo Beach Pier. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. We parked a couple of blocks from the pier as it's a Sunday and it's just about noon and it's very busy. Please keep your dog on a leash and they got poopy bags. And we're walking down to the Pismo Peach Pier. The original pier was built in 1924 but suffered major damage in the storms of 1983. Restoration and repair work was done in the late 1980s and today the pier is like new. Want a picture of both of you? Uh, well actually it's okay. <laughs> The plaza area in front of the pier has completely been refurbished and dedicated in the middle of the pandemic in September of 2020. This right here is the Vespar Resort. It is a, a Marriott right on the beach. And then it's a, a little cool and breezy so Everybody's all bundled up, but they're sitting on the beach anyway. When it comes to the Pacific Ocean, nobody ever seems to mind that the weather is a little bit cloudy and a good portion of the time. People are just happy to be at the ocean. The dunes are over there. The dunes are five miles long at Oceana. If you go back on some of our past videos, you can see us ride those dunes on ATVs. Pismo Beach. Pismo Beach is perhaps best known for its namesake mollusk, the Pismo Clam. At one time, the clams were so plentiful that 45,000 could be harvested commercially in a day. Good luck finding any nowadays. Decades of unrestricted clamming and the appetites of sea otters in the area have depleted the supply of clams. This is the history of the Pismo Beach Wharf and Pier. <laughs> in 1881, the Pismo Beach Wharf was constructed at the north end of Main Street, two blocks north of the current pier. After the pier suffered considerable storm damage, the pier was renovated. It is 1,370 feet long, or 417 meters if you prefer. The pier has several cantilevered decks for fishing. And if we get lucky, the, the sun will come out today. <laughs> it's a typical day here. Nice and cloudy. As I was saying, the clam population has been depleted and to dig for clams now requires a license. When digging for clams, no more than 10 legal sized clams are allowed to be removed per license. As we're standing on the pier, I hear a helicopter. Sure enough, I look off into the distance and there it is. Patrolling the beaches. Going right over the pier. Right over the houses. Yep, yep. Very cool. It's always fun to be with someone that can even find amusement in the way benches are constructed. Uh, PB only meant Pebble Beach or Pacific Beach. It means Pismo Beach too. He's gonna try to ride one, there you go. A little bit.
Waves aren't very big. Out at the end of the pier, they're, they're fishing. Uh, nobody in closer right now. to the Pismo Beach tour, but there's no overhead casting, which means they have fishing here. We found the regulations. So it says no fishing license is required. No more than two poles per person. Drop lines or nets per person at the same time. No overhead, no bait cutting or fish cleaning on the railing and the benches. So it looks pretty lenient. Not a lot of surfers on this side. Definitely is low tide. We still got to walk to the end. There's a couple surfers that are out with the jet ski. And in the distance, if you're able to see them on this side of the pier. It also says prevent wildlife injuries. Do not feed those pelicans or any kind of sea, other seabirds. If the seabird is hooked or entangled, please call the injured wildlife number. Pretty that awesome. Cooler's full. That cooler is full. Pretty good. You don't want to stay here. <laughs> As we walk the pier, we watch many small flocks of large pelicans. They are catching these small fish just as quick as they can drop that line in. Holy moly. Both of you guys at the same time, huh? Got another one. Wow. What kind of fish is it? It's a mackerel, that's a jack. <laughs> Don't want him to get away. <laughs> That's so cool. The two types of fish that are being caught are extremely edible. The jack smelt is described as having a flavor between that of a perch and a bonita, with meat firmer than a sea bass. It has an oily quality to it, but not as oily as a mackerel. That oiliness is what gives the flesh its succulent flavor and makes it ideal for grilling, smoking, or even pan frying. Mackerels are considered some of the most nutritious fish. They're an excellent source of protein, vitamins, B2, B3, B6, B12, and vitamin D. Their flesh is also full of minerals like copper, selenium, and iodine. <laughs> you got one behind you. Though. <laughs> P 
people enjoying the pier. There's a lifeguard out there on the jet ski. See, the Coast Guard, the lifeguard, what waves. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sun's starting to come out. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> that ain't happening. Well, you sit down, you can feel the kids will be And then the mackerel. Yeah, that's what you... Yeah, they had mackerel and jack. Be sure to stop at the Airstream trailer, which is a Pismo Beach tourist information booth. They can give you great recommendations for restaurants, lodging, and things to do in the area. The population of the Pismo Beach area is about 8,000 people. And the average temperature in the summer months is from 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 Celsius to 74 degrees Fahrenheit or 23 Celsius. The name Pismo comes from the Indian Chumash language and it was the word for tar. The Chumash Indian would gather tar from nearby Price Canyon to seal their canoes so they could use them in the ocean. And wouldn't you know on the way back to the car and what would a trip be to any place if Christina didn't get a chance to shop for souvenirs? Very cool. <laughs> you got it. I know. Yeah. Yay. If you enjoyed our vlog, please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. And give us a like. It lets us know you care. And we'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs>